might deter some investors, well, not just investors, but buyers off in general, a four bedroom property, but now it's a three, but I think it was the right decision to take it to a three bedroom property, taken back by how grand it is instantly. The high ceilings, the space that you have, uh, you wouldn't particularly expect something like this in a mid-terrace property. In this video, we're going to show you how we bought this property behind me for 30 grand below market value with only a renovation of £5,000. So if you want to watch the rest of the video showing you room by room of what we plan to do, it's not that much. But because the right demand is so high, it's going to be a hell of a steal and it's going to give us a great return. So check the rest of the video out. As you see, strikingly, the green is taken from the outside is all the way through the property, so it's an interesting one. Already green everywhere. So I like the fact that with this, you've got a hallway, separates the living space. It's quite nice to have a hallway um, and it adds, adds something to the property. You're not just walking straight in, separates the room, separates the feel, bit of feng shui. So one of the things with this room is you're taken back by how grand it is instantly. The high ceilings, the space that you have, uh, you wouldn't particularly expect something like this in a mid-terrace property, but it's relatively large as well. Uh, it's a nice family home and definitely something that you would see in probably the size of uh, some of the semi-detached houses I've seen. So it's really a lot of bang for your buck in terms of what you get for the property. So one of the things, you've got the chandelier features as well. Um, this is one of the key features that I love is the old fireplace, the craftsmanship around it, even keeping with the green theme, uh, so even with the green tile. I'm not too much of a fan of the green tile, but the person who, who lived here before unfortunately passed away. This was a probate property, so it was give, handed down to the three sons um, and then was put on the market. So we seen it instantly, um, knew that it was deal, knew the area, um, so we got straight onto it. Um, they wanted a quick sale. We negotiated around that um, and it was a cash purchase. So they knew that they wanted to complete quickly. Unfortunately, with conveyancing at the moment as it is, it's taken particularly longer than we thought, but it got over the line, completed. We picked up the keys um, and now we're here, um, ready to start assessing for the refurb. Um, and I'll take you through that in just a second. So what we'll do is take you through to the kitchen. You can check that out over now. So just follow me. So we've got the kitchen again. It's not, it's not a bad size, again. Um, I would say with this, I, I don't want to necessarily completely change all of the kitchen. I want to do more of a DIY, refurb refurbish it in a nice, nice different color, paint it up, decorate it, because it's not necessary to completely strip out and put a new kitchen in. We're not really fussed about getting what we need to the end value as much because we want to get it tenanted as quickly as possible. And I know that the ten rental demand here is particularly strong um, and that's why we chose this area. So as you go back through here, we've got the main downstairs bathroom. So we've got a bit of reconfiguration to happen here. So if you go through, let me check on the light. So uh, you've only got a shower, which is one thing that I, I wasn't particularly fussed on. So what we thought is we'll, we'll put a bath in here, move the shower across a bit, um, have a bath coming from here, move the sink down a bit, um, and then it would be more ideal for a family setting, especially if you've got young kids. A lot of families will want a bath. So we want to make sure that we accommodate to the, the market demand and then add that as an additional thing for the property. Okay, so going through here, well, more stained glass features as well. I know there's a quite a few in this property. So there's little, little nice quaint things that you see all the way through. Uh, so this is more like an uh, out, outside area living type thing of uh, an extension. Um, but you've got additional storage space here. This definitely needs to, to be cleaned up. Um, but yeah, you're gonna do a lot of decorating and everything around this place. So you've got another additional part of the property, which is, and uh, actually all of them seem to have this, which is quite strange, um, with an, like an enclosed outdoor area. But basically, well, if you've got pets or anything like that, it could still be an additional benefit. Then you've got outside, we've got 
the garden and also a garage as well which is actually quite spacious garage um i haven't properly had a look through but there's still some stuff in there maybe there's some treasures let's let's have a look and see if we can see, pull anything out of value as well okay so ah yes so the upstairs a uh, bit of a slidey door here uh, oh there you go all right so upstairs you see as i said there was an elderly person who used to live here before they've got the um stair lift so this is the old old fixtures for the stair lift going through here oh and as you can as you go up here you can see another one of those stained glass features again uh it would be a shame to to move this so i don't know what we're going to do i'm thinking that we might keep this um just because it's su such a shame to get rid of such a a nice work of art but i'll take you through to the main bedroom now which is in the front as you can see a quite a spacious bedroom here um decent space uh and also the reason for that is because this used to be a four bedroom property but now it's a three but i think it was the right decision to take it to a three bedroom property um because Essentially, you want a lot more space in the, in the rooms. You don't want to just cram in as much as you can. Maybe you could get a bit more rental as a four, but I, don't, I think it's very negligible to take it back. So we're gonna keep with the three bed. So this is where the main problem is. Um, and this might deter some investors, well, not just investors, but buyers off in general, um, because there's a structural issue, but I'll take you to that last. Just through here. We've got the toilet, an upstairs toilet. And anybody knows who's had a downstairs toilet only, it's an absolute nightmare, especially when you wake up in the middle of the night, you wanna to go to the toilet, it's a nightmare. Uh, so this is the other bedroom, relatively decent size, not too bad. Uh, one of the things that you might notice is the wallpaper's coming away, but there's actually no damp here, so what we're gonna do is take the wallpaper off, see if there's any more problems. But I'm not really worried that much about it because it stopped the dry, it's been heavy rain at times, but we still haven't seen any leaking problems or anything like that, so it's not, I'm not really too worried about it and we can take care of it. Um, but yeah, basically looking at de redecorate, changing the carpets in this room and don't forget, we'll change the carpets all the way throughout as well. A bit dated, but We'll add more modern looking carpets and keep with the aesthetic. So, what I'm gonna do is show you where the problems are. So, first things first, decent sized room. Turn the light on. Uh, decent sized room, but here's where the issue is, okay? So basically, what's happened is the timber lintels above the window have rotted through. So that's caused this issue and obviously you caused cause the damp and everything like that. So you can see the additional damp issue that's come through here. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Most people might think it is. It's not as bad as you might think. So basically timber lintels is right through. What we're gonna have to do is replace that with a concrete lintel. First of all, we're gonna strip this away, see how bad the damage really is. We might need to take out part of the ceiling, but if we do, it's still factored into, into the refurb budget. Put the concrete timber lintel in, that should fix any of the problems. It would be a bigger problem if it was downstairs. So if it was downstairs and it was low bearing with the timber lintel, then you can have an issue. But because it's upstairs, there's not much pressure coming in from the upside, up from here, you know, from just from the roof, then you can get away with it essentially. So best place to have it if you're gonna have it at all. Um, but yeah, this, this roughly isn't gonna, it's gonna cost too much to do. Um, maybe a day's work, but at least we can get get that and um, but yeah it does deter people when you've got that that's why it's so important to have a reliable team around you especially if we've got our own building firm which allows us to encounter problems like this and not really shy away from them which is a great asset to have and it's something we extend to all of our investors that invest with us you might think that it, it would cost more to refurbish than it did so roughly we're estimating a five thousand pound refurbishment for the property um, that includes the decorating, the carpet, and the structural issue as well that I've pointed out. So, relatively cheap in terms of uh, a refurb, and only quite light. Not much is actually needing doing to it. Um, so, we actually purchased the property at 115,000, um, and then from there, we estimate once we've done all of the additional works to the property, we can get in the region of around 140 
to 145,000. So it's a good purchase in terms of that. The, there's a good return on investment for this property and I know that the rental demands are particularly strong. Um, we've phoned up a few estate agent letting agents have found out that the property could let between 650 to about 695 pushing that 700 mark. So a really good buy for us and a nice addition to the portfolio. So what we're going to do is keep you updated on the works as we go through. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to take you through this project. Uh, it should be done relatively quickly as well. Get a cash flow in as quickly as possible. And this is how we're helping grow our investment bank, but also the, our investors pool as well. Why in properties just like this, they're going to get a cash flow in as quickly as possible to help them gain financial security. So keep it tuned in. Watch our few of the projects. We've got more projects coming up and I'd love to take you through them. I'll catch you on the next video.